After two and a half years, the Saskatchewan Police Commission has released its umbrella policy on contact interviews. Now these occur when police stop someone on the street to ask some questions. They aren't part of their regular interactions with the public or formal investigations somewhere in between. Police say that these contact interviews are completely voluntary. People don't have to stop and aren't required to give up any personal information. Uh, the idea here is to make it very clear to the community, not just what the police role is, but so that the community understands what the police role is and what their rights are in those circumstances. Because I think, uh, you know, there's been times where a police officer may ask somebody for their name and a person may feel that they're obliged to provide it. Uh, so this policy isn't just, uh, you know, to inform the police, it's, it's designed, uh, you know, uh, also to inform the public. Police say there are some factors that would trigger a contact interview. One is someone being in an area for no apparent reason. The example given, someone being in an industrial part of town late at night when everything is shut down. Another reason for an interview would be someone displaying unusual behavior. And finally, someone needing assistance. Under the policy, police cannot stop someone randomly based on their race, ethnicity, gender or age. The whole idea of this policy, you know, as I, I, I've stated, is to allow the police uh, to interact with the community. Uh, a lot of criminal activity has been solved by police engagement and interaction with the public. And, you know, I think to, to remove that uh, ability for the police to, to engage with the, the community and the public is dangerous. The commission consulted with a number of groups, including police departments, Crown Prosecutors, the Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nations and the Human Rights Commission. Contact interviews must be recorded by police and can only be used as part of investigative work. And all that information must be destroyed within five years. The policy is now in effect. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.